Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's explore. So I've just arrived at Denby Asylum in North Wales and this place has been on my list for a very, very long time. Now I am on my own today, so it's going to be a little bit scary in there. Not because I'm scared of ghosts, but because it is so dangerous in there, extremely dangerous. The place is a death trap, so I need to be very, very careful. So I'm just having a little walk around now, just trying to find a way in, which I think I have just done. So let's get this explore started. So I'm just walking around the outside of this site now. There are quite a lot of outbuildings here, including this little chapel. So we're going to have a little look around that now quickly. It does look as if it's all boarded up. There might be a way in, I don't know. It's not a very big chapel, but it is very, very nice. Really, really architectural. I'm getting absolutely saturated at the moment. Ah, no, it's bricked up. Bugger. And I'm definitely not going to fit through those little holes. I'm not going to be able to climb up that either. Hmm, so it doesn't look like I'll be getting in there then. I'll be able to show you through here. Kind of get an idea what's in there. Looks better than the light actually. It's quite empty. That's okay, not to worry. We've still got plenty to look round. Okay, so I've got to be quiet out here because there are security on so they don't know I'm in here at the moment. Managed to sneak in over the back through the woods and um, virtually walk straight in. You know, there's no no fences to climb over or anything. God, this place has seen better days. It really, really has. But nevertheless, I had to come here just so I could say that I've been here because this is such an iconic place. I haven't got a clue where I'm going at the moment. Wow. It's literally corridor after corridor of destruction. The place is quite dangerous to be honest, but um, like I said, I had to come here. And I did actually plan to develop this site. I think they're starting this year. Wow. I'm so worried that I'm going to get lost and that we have to find my way back out. Oh, cool, look at that. See if I can try and get into the main building. There's so many outbuildings here. I couldn't tell you which one I'm in at the moment, I really don't know. Looks like we've got an old um, scales weighing machine of some sort there. So we've got a 2019 date on there, so people have. Been able to get in here as well this year. You can see they've bored out all the entrances. I had to climb through a window, it was a little bit of hard work, but it's worth the effort. Let's see if we can get into that main building now. God, it's literally treading over roof tiles. Ooh, the Harris fences that have been squashed up and Abandoned for years. I think that could be the main building there. Let's have a quick look in here. You can still see some of the old floor in here, look. <laughs> oh, crikey. 
guessing this would have been some kind of a kitchen area. Because of the tiled floors. <laughs> wow, look at that. Bloody hell. And the rain's really coming down outside now. I'm kind of glad I'm inside. I can actually hear a car driving around outside, that's quite scary. Because I do know they do patrols on this site. But they're obviously um, choosing the car rather than walking because it's raining so hard at the moment. Look at the old um, plastic doors. So I'm currently walking around this asylum on my own, which is quite scary. I'm just glad it's not night time because it'd be a hell of a lot more worse. Now, I'm hoping this corridor is going to take us into the main building. I'll just have a quick peek outside, see where I am. So I want to be over there. I think if I stay inside and carry on going this way, should be all right. Wow, look at this. Got the greening that's been taken over this room is incredible. Got a staircase there. We'll have a quick look up there actually, just see if we can see anything. A bit higher up. Wow, look at this place. It's incredible. Such a big sight, this. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Certainly need to be careful where you're going, you know? God, look, the floor in there is literally ready to go. Definitely not stepping in that room. All that one. <laughs> Every room I walk past is all dipping down, ready to go. I'm not even sure really if I should be standing on this, what I am now. There's parquet flooring, so hopefully it's got a bit of stability to it. I'm definitely not going that way. Alright, let's get back past stairs and carry on. Okay, so I'm virtually at the other end of that corridor. <laughs> um, I'm quite sure which way to go. I might go that way. I just want to have a quick look in here. Oh wow, look at that. Bloody hell. Do you know, I've been to some dangerous places, but this is probably the most, the most dangerous place I've ever been in. Incredible. Oh, this rain's really coming down. I'm gonna try and get in there quick. There we go. Okay, so I think if we go through here, this is going to be the little bit that I wanted to do. Be careful this floor don't go through. It's cold in here. It's really cold in here. It's also quite scary because the place is literally falling apart. Look at this. Oh, I'm not going to risk going through there just yet, I think. I'll go back the other way. There's no point going upstairs in here because they don't exist. No, bloody cold through that bit there. So it's quite exciting coming to these sort of places on your own because the adrenaline rush you get is incredible. If you've never done it, you'll never understand. I'll go back through here. 
heading up there to the right. So I know recently this place has been taken over by a new security company. Uh, the guy who used to look after this place, Elgwin, I believe his name was, and his Alsatian, actually got into a little bit of trouble. I'm sure most of you guys have probably seen that video on YouTube, but um, Elgwin's dog actually bit one of the chaps. After that, he was told he had to leave the site, never to return, which is a shame for him because obviously he's got a lot of um, connections and history to this place but if you're gonna threaten people with your dog and then let it do that then what can I say serves you right rain isn't nice. Okay, so we have now finally made it into the main building. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Literally no other floors in this place at all. So we're definitely not gonna be going upstairs. But I finally made it. So that's the front of the building just down there. Or should I say the original main entrance. I honestly cannot believe I'm in here right now. This is one place that I've always, always wanted to come. But it's always been really, really hard to get in here. So I don't think, no, I don't need to go this way. This is probably a way that people have been getting in but I'm actually going back on their way in so I need to get around the other side basically I want to get around to the front but I can't get out here because there's a massive drop so I want to try and get out through there and just get a picture of the front of the building that iconic shot that everyone gets when they come here so I think if I go back outside and try and get into I can get around to that side of the building over there I have to go back through this way, but I should hopefully be able to get what I want. So it's currently absolutely chucking it down, and I'm in shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> Dressed for the occasion? Definitely not. I didn't actually think I was coming here today. Um, right, if we... Oh, God. If we go back through here, it's probably going to get really wet. Hopefully, I'll be able to find a way into that other side and then get round to the front. So hopefully, if I go down through here, this should take me to what I want. God, look at that in there. This must have been where they had the recent fire. Crikey. That's caused quite a lot of damage. So I think it was back last year that there was a huge fire here which destroyed a lot of the building. Again, you can see fire damage through there. 
and I'm dreading yet through here too. There's literally nothing left there. Look, the whole top end has completely fallen down. That's such a shame. But they are planning, like I said, to redevelop this site. They've got the new security on now, which um, <laughs> don't seem to be very good, if I'm honest. But, um, there we go. This is pretty cool. This looks like it could have been an old um, eating hall, food hall. Ooh, I need to be careful when I'm treading there because there's lots of holes. Right, if we get back outside, be careful because these are really rotten. And I don't want to disturb anything above me because if that comes down, I've had it. <laughs> so I need to be careful that I don't tread on anything which is gonna disturb something else. There we go, made it. It looks as if they've been storing a lot of the fallen brickwork out here and piling it up. You see the fire damage up there as well. So the whole top end of this building must have been a light. God. Right, I can see front now so hopefully I should be able to get to where I want now. Wow look at that. So cool. So I'm just approaching the other side of the building where I wanted to get to. And as we look back on the bit I've just come out of you can see the fire damage it was caused. Sadly there's not much left of the roof. Okay so this hopefully should take me to where I want to go. Just noticed a massive radiator laying down on the floor there. Huge cast iron radiator that they would have had. Look, there's loads. They've all just been laid down on the floor. Oh God, why is that in here? Why is that in here? That is not nice. Oh, that's just giving me the eebie jeebies. Loads of radiators in there. Okay, so <sighs> blimey. I'll tell you what, the guys who are working on this place have certainly got a lot of jobs to do. <laughs> Lots of tidying up to do. Alright, let's see if we can get to the front of the building now. You know, it's horrible. When you're walking in a dark place like this on your own, you can't help but just think that there's someone following you behind. I mean, you guys can probably see someone behind me right now and I can't even see them, but I can feel them. It's horrible. Makes all the hairs on the back of your neck go up. Okay, good. So this is where I wanted to be. So that's where I was earlier, just through there. I'm now on this part. Now, if I go down there, there's not really much to see if I'm honest. I'm just going to show you guys now what's down there. And again, obviously the corridor goes along, I mean, back up that way. But again, there's not much up there. So what I'm going to do is get around to the front of the building now, get a couple of shots of the front of it, and then I think I'll start to head out because this weather is really, really coming down now. And I'm starting to get a little bit soaked. Okay guys, so I finally made it. I'm at the front of the hospital now, the main entrance. This place is amazing. The architecture is absolutely incredible. It's just a shame it's raining really hard now. But this is what I've come for. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So this is the old main entrance to the hospital. You can see the problem I would have had getting in from this way. Literally impossible. Literally impossible, you couldn't do it. 
Wow. Right guys, that was Denby Asylum. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe and please go and check out my Instagram which is the Beard Explorer underscore and we'll see you again on another explore.